folks, Mac T back, and I have a transmission fluid test that I did, and uh, it was on the Amsoil Signature ATF. Now, I'm doing this because uh, some folks had lead, led me to the Amsoil, and I'm going to tell you all straight up, some of you are going to not like me about what I'm about to say. But uh, Amsoil is not being fully truthful with us about what their uh, transmission fluid, their signature ATF, is qualified to do. Because what they have done in their marketing is changed and followed the leader. That's right. Uh, they started doing a test. And uh, in 2013, they did this notorious Las Vegas uh, transmission fluid test on taxis. So really what they're doing is they're standing on the shoulders of a test that is well over eight years old on transmissions that aren't even made today. And uh, they were competing against Mercon V transmission fluid. That's right. Uh, they had all their test results. Well, Mercon V transmission fluid is not a synthetic transmission fluid. So right there, they're comparing their synthetic to a non-synthetic transmission fluid. And then they went ahead and ran it and did their thing. But the transmissions aren't even mentioned in this test. And they, uh, I'm pretty sure they were probably six speeds and everything else, older transmissions back then, because we didn't have our new transmissions. But notoriously what they have done is they've taken that and then they moved up their signature without changing it to Mercon LV. Okay, so uh, they haven't tested anything Mercon LV, only Mercon V competition. Thus, I cannot find any testing that on transmissions that required Mercon LV. They're still standing on the shoulders of the Las Vegas testing. And that, you know, doesn't keep up with the times. So, and then the next step up. And I find this totally remarkable in the fact that uh, Amsoil is now saying that their same signature, you know, ATF, is now Mercon ULV compliant uh, and you can use it in a Mercon ULV transmission and they don't really have any testing they publicized about this on the newer transmissions but in their marketing they have just upped it to the ULV and uh, here's the thing in their viscosities their transmission fluid does not match the Mercon ULV viscosities. It is far thicker than the, than the Mercon LV, and uh, it just does not match. The other thing is that they have no Ford certification for use in their Amsoil Signature Transmission Fluid in the transmissions like the 8F35, in the 10R90 or whatever they're 80 they're they're using in the pickup trucks and everything else. So what they've done is they've just said, okay, you can use it in this. They don't have any Ford certification, nothing. And their viscosities are not even matching up. And to case in point, uh, we can look at some of the viscosities that I have here, and you will all see them. But uh, Amsoil viscosity, uh, the kinetic viscosity 100 degrees Celsius is 7.5 and the kinetic viscosity at 40 degrees Celsius is 38.5 with a viscosity index of 165. Now if we go up and we look at the uh, transmission fluids, uh, that we have for Ford, the Mercon ULV, and that has a, uh, let's see, a CST viscosity 100 at 4.5, and then we have the uh, CST at 40 at 19.2, and then the uh, density uh, rating and everything viscosity index is 152. So that tells you that the Amsoil does not meet the viscosity requirements of the new transmissions and uh, 
with you using AMS oil in your transmission and you have a problem, guess what? You're using a non-ASTM certified transmission fluid and if that transmission has a problem, guess what? Uh, it might be an issue. So, uh, yeah, okay, AMS oil is always stand by our product. Yeah, try to get them to pay for your transmission and let me know what you're doing there. But, uh, yeah, it does not meet it. And I went ahead and had some testing done on the uh, Signature Series. And I'll have some other comparisons later on in other videos comparing the AMS oil to the uh, Valvoline Max Life ULV which by the way I've already checked and it does meet and exceed the Ford certifications uh, and the Ford certification I'll do the ULV on that also but just keep in mind that all these fluids have to be synthetic that is one requirement and the uh, the Max Life does meet the Ford ASTM and it has a certification on it whereas the AMS oil does not and just to as the comparison for the Ford, we not, we also have the Valvoline Max Life uh, ULV, and its kinetic viscosity index is 4.45, and the uh, kinetic viscosity at 40 is 19.41, along with a viscosity index of 146. So that tells you that uh, yes, the Valvoline is went through the effort to get the certification and does meet the same requirements as the Ford ULV transmission fluid whereas the AMS oil is left out here uh, outside outside of the perimeters and outside of the viscosities so that is where that stands so let's go over the actual testing that I had done at a lab on the AMS oil signature ATF that you know will prove out lab wise what we got now some of the things I did I went to Blackstone and as always I do the testing through them uh, one uh, use the same lab get the same results as always but uh, what I did is had them test it and uh, they basically said the additive, additive elements include boron calcium and phosphorus the viscosity is normal we don't find water unusual elements that shouldn't be present Small amounts of metal aren't always a cause for concern in virgin oils like this. It don't hurt anything. The tan starts at a 2.9. And keep in mind we don't want a high number when we start because it goes higher as it gets worn out. Uh, but to start it out of this virgin oil sample, uh, we ended up with a 1 on the aluminum, which uh, ended up universally to be 0, but it has one. Uh, the chromium would be zero and that's zero across the board for everything. We had two parts per million iron which is one parts per million above the actual universal averages of one. Uh, the copper was zero. The lead was zero. The tin was zero. The molly B was zero. The nickel was zero. The manganese was zero. Silver was zero. Uh, titanium was zero, potassium was zero, and that's across the board pretty much for everything else. And then uh, we had boron at 278, universal average is generally 165. Uh, silicon was two, universal averages for these are generally four. Uh, sodium was five, universal average is generally three. And then uh, calcium was 245 parts per million with universal averages 765. And then uh, magnesium was one, universal averages for this would be seven. And then uh, phosphorus was 627 and the universal averages are 559 with zinc being four parts per million and the universal averages for this transmission fluid would be 163. Uh, the barium of course was zero. Now as far as the viscosities, yes, it tested out at 47.8 as a viscosity at 210 degrees Fahrenheit. CST viscosity at 100 degrees Celsius was 6.59 and then uh, the flash point was 490 and the tan was a 2.9 that is what we got out of the uh, testing from Blackstone Labs on this and in future videos I will take this AMS oil 
and buck it up against the ULVs, the true ULVs, uh, and test them out against it to show you what is the difference. Uh, I'm waiting for the testing on the Mercon uh, ULV from uh, Valvoline, and I also have the Ford ULV, and we'll, we'll beat those up against each other and see which one is coming out ahead for the ULV fluids. But right now, uh, I would not use this just due to the viscosity issues. Uh, these transmissions were designed to run on a lower viscosity than what AMS oil is putting out. And on top of it, they have no ASTM certification through Ford for this. And it's right there in their literature. They have nothing. They're just doing marketing and saying, yeah, it's good. Trust us. And uh, that's not going to cut it, folks. They're not going through the efforts to do the testing. Uh, they're relying on eight-year-old testing and everything else for their uh, transmission fluid. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt, folks. The AMS oil probably isn't going to be the best solution for these new transmissions that run on. And we're talking GM, Ford. Remember, GM and Ford work their transmissions together. They require the same fluid. So different name, but the same viscosities. So you want to make sure that you do go by that. And uh, hey, consumers, got to be smart. Make sure you know what you're buying. Make sure you know what you got. And uh, you shouldn't have a problem. But right now, that's all I got for this one. So remember, like, subscribe, join MACT Ford Edge on Facebook, YouTube. Hit that like button and everything else that goes with that. And uh, by all means, my feet hit the floor today. I'm having a great day, and I want you to have a great day, too. Mercy Grill's always got a one-liner, and Band of One's always playing something sweet. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos, and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.